Oh my gosh, I think this is it. <sighs> is this a glassy baby? Okay, so today I am at Goodwill in Gilderland, New York. Um, and make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video because I found something amazing that was on my bucket list at Salvation Army. Um, and when you watch all the way to the end of the video, it helps the YouTube algorithm and it pushes our videos out there. Let's get inside and see what we can find to resell. There's a fresh carpet. It's empty. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, I wanted to check. There's something I accidentally left here. There it is. Oh yeah. I saw this in the video when I was editing it. Um, this is from 1930s. This is a Bakelite handle. Now this is supposed to have a lid. But $4 for the pair and I feel like I can make money off of it. There's no markings, but that is definitely a Bakelite. Oh, look at these cuties. Oh, they're bears holding fish. $2 each. That's not a bad price for those. Made in Japan. Um, yeah, I don't see any damage. I'm gonna get these. We have a pottery key. <laughs> now, what about this? Look how big this is. I love it. That almost looks like the, the Pyrex pattern um, for the birds. It's red. I can't remember the pattern. I kind of like that. There's this pottery. I'm seeing pottery everywhere. Um, that's newer. No, it's not. It says um, Japan for $6.99. I don't know about $6.99, though. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. Is that Roseville? Totally looks like it. Where's the marking? I'm putting that in anyways. You wanna know what? I was just thinking, we have this at home. It's blue and it is old antique McCoy. So this could be worth some good money. I think the one we have at home is worth over a hundred dollars. So I'm definitely spending eight dollars on that. Have mercy. Okay. Ooh, look. Oh, wow. That comes with the um, bowl for $11. I'm getting that. Putting that in the cart. Yes. There we go. Ooh, here's a swung vase. That's a uh, cased glass. Uh, made in China. I still like it though, $8. I really, really like this pattern. Um, I feel like My Michael looked this up. It isn't worth too much. To it's not enough to for us to pick it up, but I love it. 1960s. Yeah, the dinner placers, those are $2 each. And then the cup and saucers. So that'd be $2 for the set. What about these pumpkins? Ooh, it's newer. <laughs> Oh, look at that, um, this back here. I feel like that would be brass and someone spray painted it. I kind of like the blue though. Not for $10. Now this up here, uh, you get the pitcher and the glasses with it. I wonder who makes that. It's $20 for this set. This is a Disney music box snow globe k care or care for ten dollars there's a art glass squash 14 at 99 <laughs> it's not murano or anything um that's probably from marshall's or burlington or what are the other ones not that certified international okay i like the boot blue uh goblets all right, I know everybody's wondering what that is. I think it's Avon. <laughs> All right, I was just looking at this frame. Look at it, this is definitely older. I was just looking at it, showing my resetting friend, Stephanie. Um, I'm not gonna be able to ship that, that's huge. Let's see if that is old. It's 
a little bit newer intercraft some enamel not that one oh, I kind of like it with a pearl made in China alright fresh cart let's take a lucky oh here's a kitty cat let me take a look oh for $2.99 <laughs> Um, not really seeing anything. Nothing too exciting. Okay. Look at all the Atrex. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at Elton John. How much are these? I might get Elton John. Look at. It. Ooh, Elvis. This is so cool. Who makes that? And I'm gonna leave them. Alright, I figured I would take a look at some bags. I didn't see anything else in the hard goods. It has on um, a fabric. Uh, let me see who made it. Currency fashion accessories for today. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'm not seeing any. It's a quilted babe. I have this one. It's a velvet White House Black Market. Victoria's Secret can be good. What about the scarf? What? I almost dropped it. I still have that red um, Vera scarf. Um, it doesn't feel like silk or anything. I don't see a name on it. Oh, there it is. All right, so it's AS made in made in Turkey. I think that's um, Turkish. I don't know language. I'm pretty sure that means Turkey. I'm gonna leave it. The scarves are five dollars. All right, let's hope we find something in here. <laughs> Let me get my cart. Um, this one is, ch these two are chips, so I'm gonna leave those. And then there's this one for $3.99. That's all right. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna get the two um, Cubis. I believe that's called the Cubis pattern. Almost like Fostoria American pattern. I think that's Indiana glass, actually. Oh my gosh, I think this is it. <sighs> is this a glassy baby? Oh, it totally is. Yes! I finally found one. <sighs> that totally goes in the cart. I got it. Now I can take that off my bucket list. I wonder if that, does that go with it? The lid? Oh, let's see if there's any more. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I found that. I'm so glad I came here. <sighs> Ooh, look at this face. That made my day. Uh, made in China. Mark Roberts. So I asked one of the employees that prices things, and I asked if they had any more. They said no, that was the only one. And they charged me $2.99. <laughs> I'm so excited, okay. Calm down. Ooh, some fancy crystal. Is there a mark? Oh, it's Waterford. How much are those? Four for $10. I'm going to get these. For Waterford crystal? Yes, please. Let me grab the other two. Um, I believe these are on the rocks. Glasses. Yeah, I'll spend 10 on those. And of course I have to make sure I look for chips or cracks. These are kind of cool. It's etched. It's an etched butterfly. Those are neat. Oh, butterfly and then, um, I don't know what those are, twigs. <laughs> oh. Let me see about this cute little squirrel dish. Um, I think it's a little bit newer. Made in China. 
I mean, it's made to look like it's old. How much are you? Five ninety nine. Nah. I mean, it's cute. If it was maybe three dollars, I would buy it to resell. Um, a wooden a goblet for three ninety nine. Oh, what are the colors today? Blue and green are half off. Yellow is a dollar forty nine. Whoops. Um. All right, let's go around the corner and check out the white section. Um, ooh, what is that? Um, that's cut for four ninety nine. Is there any signatures? I don't see any. I wonder if that's newer. I kind of like it. Look at the green. Four ninety nine. Oh, no, I think I'm going to get it for $5. I like that it's cut. You have the black and then the green on the inside. It's definitely funky. Um, it feels like it's crystal, too. Um, let me ding it. Ah, too thick to ding. <laughs> These um, green base glasses. They're Mikasa Crystal for $24.99. And that's different. I've never seen the leaf pattern on them that before. Um, it says Mikasa, Germany. All right, let's see who made this set. I like the blue on it. Uh, Noritake China for $24.99. I really like the blue. Noritake Progression Blue Moon. Are those the... Those aren't the cups that go with it. <laughs> but you get the dinner plates. It's repaired. Alright, I am not seeing anything else. We're getting the glassy baby, um, the water for glasses, the uh, Indiana glass bowls, and the crystal vase. Let's go check out. Oh, let's see what they have. What is that? Oh, I thought it was a bird. It's pewter. Is that old pewter? It's all dented up. <laughs> Ooh, what about this vase? Um, that is signed. Um, how much is that? Three ninety nine. Let me put that on. Of course, we have to look at this little jewelry box. I mean, it feels cheap. Victorian Trading Co. And what about this um, sailor? Man, it's ceramic. Two ninety nine. Let's see if there's anything in this box. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, I know some of these chests can sell. That's $5.99, ain't bad. I don't want to ship that, though. That's huge and heavy. <laughs> there's a certain brand that um, you should pick up. I can't remember the brand. All right, I'm going to leave that. There's a pottery bowl. Um, how much are you? It's signed WN for $3.99. Um, I mean, that one's okay. It does look a little tad bit sloppy. It's just a plain blue. I'm gonna leave that. Now, what about this false graph? Huh, I don't know. We have this tea set, uh, made in England. Ironstone. We already have a whole bunch of those um, still listed. Some plastic for $1.99. There's no markings on that. What about these dishes down here? A sweet shop. Raspberry tart. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. That one, that looks thinner than usual. Made in Japan. I thought for sure that almost looked like it would be antique. Alrighty. I keep picking those up. I keep thinking it's, um, Francoma pottery. Ooh, look at that. Alright, I can already tell that's newer. No, it's not country casual. I like the green.
There's some glass fruit. Oh, look at the bowl underneath. Well, let me look at that first. Oh, I like the colors on it. Hold on, let me get a grip. Okay. Um, I'm trying to make it out. I don't think I can. <laughs> Have mercy. Um, $7.99 for a pie plate. Let me put that in and I'm going to research it later only because it is $8. All right, what about these grapes? Oh, does that come with a... Does that come with the pie plate? I'm going to ask. Let me see this. That's pretty. Look at the poppies. Poppies will make you sleepy, Dorothy. I really crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> it's a pink dish for $2.99. Hey, what about this rooster canister? It looks like it's hand painted. 99 cents oh, from the family dollar. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool. It's greasy. Oh, yeah. I definitely hate um, grease. About this back here with a swirl. I feel like I've seen this forever. <laughs> See a uh, apple pie dish for three ninety nine. Let's take a look at the bottom. It's a ceramic. Eh. All right. I wonder what you would put in there. Potpourri, maybe. Put some apple spice potpourri. All right, I wanted to see what was that. That's a jewelry. Okay. This apple canister for $2.99. Oh, that's the Roseville, Ohio RRP. I always forget what the RRP means. It'll come to me. <laughs> All right, I am not seeing anything else. Um, I noticed this had a crack in it, so I'm going to put that back. He's only charging me a dollar for each gr glass grape. Then this, it's eight dollars. I couldn't find any information on it, but I really like the colors. I feel like that would sell like 40 to 50 dollars. Okay, so my total spend at Goodwill was, how much was it? I know, I don't even know. Um, I was talking to the cashier. I'll let you know right here. Um, and then I spent $11 at both Salvation Armies. Um, I can't believe the amazing items I found today. I found a Glassy Baby, Antique McCoy Pottery, Blendo. I just wish I had the um, bracket to hook the dip up to the chip bowl, but I'm okay with that. All right, I'm going to go home and try to list some of these items. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everybody next time. Bye.